What is the crack, lads? We are back. The hat is on because I'm having a bad hair day. But we're back in divisions. And I'm hopefully going to get a couple of games here played at lunchtime. Um, let me know from the last video as well if you guys would like me to do a past and present Inter Milan or AC Milan squad. Or maybe a Real Madrid. Maybe we won't get the packs at all. Maybe we'll just open up a couple of the free ones. But uh, just a quick one as well, lads. If you go in, if you are a PlayStation user and you actually go to the home menu and then go to the PlayStation store and obviously get down and search. One second now. Search for eFootball. It should come up here. eFootball. And then search and then go down to the bottom here. You will have a new and exclusive for PS Plus members and it is 300 coins and just over what 80 nearly 90,000 um nearly 90,000 trainer points so yeah this is a very very good bonus if you are looking to train up players or whatever but yeah just a little quick one on that and obviously when you go back in then to the main menu and you go into your actual inbox it'll pop up so we are in division six we had a very tough game the last one but let me know because i am going to be alternating the squads this is the squad i'm going to be using where i'm going to be testing out different players such as saint maximum today i'm testing out davies at the back as well as ruben diaz uh the rest of the squad is fairly set um but yeah let me know i was thinking of doing an inter or an ac milan past and present so buying the premium pack and then using present players as well but we will see you guys at kickoff we are in division six hopefully we can get a game fairly quick and i'll see you in a minute all right so we're into a match and this guy looks like he's got a fairly beastly squad uh we've got a couple of issues as well because makalele is fully up so he'll go straight in but we do have neymar up instead of maximum so we're actually going to switch these two boys around um and put diaz over on the right i haven't usually played with him on the right but rest of the squad is looking fairly sharp we've got Haaland and Romario I'm going to actually start Romario up front um based on yeah he's got Rudiger and Beckenbauer I mean this guy's got a very 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 strong team um Mbappe, Lau, Neymar, Hernandez yeah I mean he's got the meta formation he's got a meta team so he kind of knows what he's doing you know he's got his anchorman he's got Hernandez left back Rudiger, Beckenbauer um and then his three up front so I am going to be doing a video on kind of meta stuff at the moment and how to beat it. I think my formation of a 5-2-3 is actually a fairly good formation. And what I usually do, as I do in most games, is defensively, if I am playing against a 4-3-3, I will put Makalele as kind of my main anchorman. I will bring him back as far as possible. So I, I kind of double him up as like a fort center back. And then I kind of push forward with Ruben Diaz or whoever I play in the center. Now, will I play Ruben Diaz? Let me see who else is up. I could play... No, I'm happy enough with that. I'm happy enough with that. So we've got pace, we've got power, we've got passing, we've got everything. So we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully get a W, lads. But yeah, I have been reading a lot of, of, of people's opinions on the game. And I, I think it kind of can be summed up in a couple of different ways, man. I just... I genuinely feel, right, that they have dumbed down the AI defensively so much um that you know obviously good defenders and good good people that can defend and people that are good defensively at the game are going to be really really good and then obviously people that are you know not good are going to get their hand held a little bit more than they would have because there's definitely more of a you know an, an insistence on keeping everything kind of oh it's a dangerous ball oh i can't react quick enough i'm getting chances on the wings against this guy and that's where Ruben Diaz is. Now see where Makalele is, lads. See what I mean? That's all you have to do for Makalele. And just keep it tight at the back. I always think defending should be a skill gap. But people that are good defenders are going to be like excellent defenders in this game. Where they're not going to concede that many goals. Unless the game obviously screws them with, with interceptions or you know stupid stuff happens. Um, but I think like the press, the press that you can put on, the pressure that you can put on... That you're basically just running into the players with no real skill. I mean, there, like, that's an auto contextual pat or interception or attempt. Uh, Maradona putting on the afterburners. It's good dribbling. It's good ball. But I'm back there with Makalele. And that's what I'm talking about, lads. That's what he's back there for. Diaz. Oh, beautiful Diaz. Beautiful. Rudiger. Cheeky little chip. Oh, Pedri was in there. Neymar. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Turn back. Read it like a book. Oh, it's a terrible pass, man. 
yeah, I just think you could talk about it all day, but to be honest with you, I'm finding some games I have a lot of control. Like, I'm very much in control in this game, and I'm like, it's enjoyable to pass the ball around and stuff, but it can flip sometimes then as well, where you just can't really do anything, you know what I mean? And things are happening that you can't really control, and I think that's probably the biggest concern most people have. Like, my passes are zippy today, they're passing, they're sharp, I'm able to turn in where I want to turn in. Romario, oh, that's good defending. That's very solid defending. You read me well. Oh, Makaleli is back there again. Get back with Ruben Diaz. Ball shouldn't have gone through. Lovely. Oh, and watch the gap. Oh, it's brilliant defending from Rudiger, lads. And the five at the back is definitely upsetting this guy's play style. Have a pop. Keep him honest. Good shot. Just going to keep him guessing. He's spamming Mbappe. He's spamming Mbappe, lads. He thinks that there's a weakness there. Get back, Davies. Neymar, direct. It's four chasing him. Ah, it's brilliant play. Ah, oh, it's brilliant defending, lads. This guy's a very good defender. But this is what I'm talking about. We're both probably fairly evenly matched defensively. Um, but I do think that the game is kind of holding our hands a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's... It's making us look better defensively than we are because Neymar should be able to cut inside there. And I see that they've nerfed this as well. Do you see that there? I'm going to analyze that. Do you see Tio Hernandez there, right? Watch the AI here when he's controlling. Watch when I get Makalele. Watch Maradona. That's good defending. But the AI does a lot of work for him. There. In fairness. Oh! Deserved it! What a move. What a switch. Deserved it. We'll take the tap in, lads. What a ball in. What a touch. A double touch there. What an incredible ball in. What a switch. He doesn't let me watch it. And we're going to... All right, so we're set. Paddy V is on, lads. We're going to go defensive. We need the points here against a very, very, very strong opponent. The chase with Haaland. He's going to go sweat, surely. See to get this ball back from the reset now. We'll defend then. It's a dangerous tackle though to concede and he this guy is so good he could score and it would be a this would be a massive 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 pity if he scored from a free kick here i'll be honest with you he probably doesn't deserve it and he's going to score it i was thinking he would he's a good player he hasn't threatened me all game but that's what happens when you give away a super free and yeah it is my own fault to be fair oh please all right lads we'll take that i mean this guy Definitely didn't deserve to, to draw with me here. I completely controlled the whole game. <sighs> I give away a silly free kick. It was a free, to be honest with you. It was my mistake. A very good player, but I, I felt like I was in control. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that little challenge. 4-4-2. Four, four, I always struggle against this team. So he's basically using the Inter Milan club pack that he would have bought. He's got Coleman and Harrison as players of the week. Haaland, the free version. And then he's got Tamori. So he bought the two AC Milan and the Inter Milan pack. So um, let's see what this guy is like. I'm assuming that he'll be quite decent. But uh, let's see. We need to get a win, lads. It's as simple as that. We need to get a win. Oh, I'm still raging with that last game. I mean, that guy got one free kick and he, he punished me. I probably was a little bit too heavy on the, on the defensive because I knew he was going to try and go for it. I don't think he would have scored from open play, lads. I'm not bigging myself up, but I felt very, very confident defending against him. And... Uh, 
I was kind of winning a lot of ball and stuff. Oh, this could be a goal. Haaland. Cheeky chip. Oh, what a finish. What a goal from Haaland, lads. He is the man at the moment at the moment. In everything. Eve football. What a finish that is. Please let me watch that. Please let me watch that. I could see it there the minute that he gave the ball away. He's probably complaining that he tried to pass it, but it was a, it was a poor pass. I had one there a second ago as well. Watch the AI here, right? Watch the AI. You see that there? The AI is literally defending for him. Not doing a good job now, I'll admit that, but... <laughs> the AI is defending for him there like way too much. It's way too handholdy, man. I just don't like it at all. I don't like it because that should be up to him to co come out and cover me. And he's just happy to sit back and let the AI defend for him. If you're patient and you can, you know, get a break or two, you can actually like rip these guys apart. It's kind of like playing. It reminds me of playing, right? And I'm going to say something very controversial, but... It kind of reminds me of playing against co-op when you're playing against 1v uh, the computer. That's what it reminds me of. That it's like, it's so hard to break it down. That's way too heavy, man. Look at him, man. He's just chasing me like a lunatic around the pitch. Oh! That would have been some goal. <laughs> oh, man. That would have been some goal. Vieira sat him down. What a goal. We'll take it. What a pass in. And Haaland is there again. And this should be our first win of Division 6. We're destroying this guy in the wings, lads. We get our win. We'll take it. We get our first, first points on the board. So, lads. It's been a weird kind of... Yeah, it's been a weird kind of game, right? I'm going to end it there. Obviously, two matches. Um... Because I want to get your guys' thoughts on the actual what you're seeing and what squad, you know, I should use. I know that you've let me know since the last episode as well. Um, but yeah, I also want to have a video on my content and what I'm going to be doing going forward. Because I am really, really thinking of doing some NBA 2K content. Uh, I, really enjoy, I really enjoy NBA 2K. I play a lot of it every year. Um, I actually love it. It's probably one of my, my favorite game series. And I'd like to do a YouTube series on it. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I'll probably kind of hook up with a couple of other content creators. And maybe play like 3v3 co-op or whatever. So you have a park mode where you can kind of play 3v3 on the park. Um, and then you can play like, you know, Pro-Am or in the rec or whatever. As well, if anyone is familiar with NBA 2K. But you basically take on, it's like a become a legend. You take on the role of a, a, a young guy in college and then you enter the NBA and you're playing and controlling that player and you get drafted and uh, you train up your player and you get skill points and all that. So I would be interested in doing that and then having an online aspect of it as well. But let me know what you guys think. Um, because I think until like eFootball adds a ton of modes, I love playing Dream Team when it plays well and I'm able to control things. But content wise, it is kind of a struggle sometimes. So let me know what you guys think. Would you be open for me uh, putting up a couple of videos on NBA 2K and see what it's like. If it's not for you, let me know. And if it is for you, happy days. Um, we can kind of go from there. Um, it would be interesting to do it. And I think it could be a bit of crack. But uh, yeah, because I think if you do like eFootball, you are going to like NBA from a pure gameplay point of view because it's very fun. It's very, very, very uh, like rewarding from a content point of view. I don't know about FIFA, man. I mean, a few people have been asking me to play FIFA. I just don't know. I don't know what I have the time to commit to playing, you know, Dream Team and doing a channel on Dream Team and all that sort of stuff on eFootball. 
um and then starting a fifa one as well with ultimate team and that i don't know but let me know in the comments lads what you think i will do a video on this uh quite soon as well so let me know what the crack is i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you later peace